Sharing your building model information with other BIM applications can be done through the IFC or Industry Foundation Classes file format. Revit has the capability to link IFC files. This is an open standard file format developed by the International Alliance of Interoperability, IAI, designed to provide increased interoperability of building objects across software applications. To link the IFC building model into this project, on the Insert ribbon, in the Link panel, click Link IFC. Revit displays the Link IFC dialog. When you expand the Files of Type drop-down, you can see the various IFC file formats that can be linked. Select IFC Files. You can then navigate to the folder containing the file you want to link. Select BuildingModel.IFC. There are not any other options when linking IFC files, so simply click Open. It may take Revit some time to read the file, but once it does, you can see it within the host model. When you select the linked model, the entire model is treated as one object. Looking in the Properties palette, you can see that the IFC file is treated as a Revit model. It also has a name value separate from the actual file name. This is the only instance parameter. Click Edit Type to open the Type Properties dialog. Here, you can select whether or not the model is room bounding, just like with the linked Revit model. You can also control the reference type and phase mapping here. Click OK to close the dialog. With the linked IFC file still selected, on the Contextual ribbon, in the Link panel, there are two tools. Bind Link will convert the linked IFC file into a group within the host file. Manage Links will open the Manage Links dialog. Note that the Manage Links tool is also available on the Insert ribbon in the Links panel and on the Manage ribbon in the Manage Project panel. Each Manage Links tool opens the Manage Links dialog. On the IFC tab, you can see that there is currently only one link, the buildingmodel.ifc file. The status is shown as loaded. You can load and unload links to control their display. The reference type controls how the file is linked. When you expand this dropdown, you can see that there are two options. Overlay is the default. When linked as an overlay, only the elements actually within the linked file appear within the host. If the linked file in turn contained other linked files, the elements from those files would not appear in the current host file. When linked as an attachment, you would see both the linked file and any nested links that it contained. The Positions Not Saved setting indicates if the linked file's position has been saved in the shared coordinate system. However, you cannot share coordinate systems with IFC files, so this setting is unavailable. The Saved Path value shows the location of the linked file within the computer file system. When you click in the Path Type field and expand the dropdown, you can see that this can be either a relative or an absolute path. Relative is the default. You might need to use an absolute path if you use Microsoft Distributed File System DFS namespaces, or if your host project and linked files are not on the same drive. If you are using Revit Server, the server path will be shown. The local alias value refers to work shared projects. When you select the linked file, other tools become active. Remove permanently removes the linked model from the host. This cannot be undone. You would have to recreate the link. Be aware that removing a link from a host model 
could cause you to lose critical annotations or elements hosted in the link. If you simply no longer need to see the linked model, you can click Unload. Revit displays a dialog warning that unloading a link cannot be undone, but this simply means that you cannot reverse this action by using the Undo tool. However, you can easily make the linked model visible again by reloading it using the Manage Links dialog. Click OK. When you do, the status changes to Not Loaded. When you click OK to close the Manage Links dialog, the linked IFC file is no longer visible. On the Manage ribbon, in the Manage Project panel, click Manage Links to display the Manage Links dialog again. Switch to the IFC tab. To reload the linked file, select the linked file and then click Reload to reload the same file from the same location. Now, the status has changed back to Loaded. If the name of the linked file had changed, or if you had moved the linked file to a different folder, you would click Reload From. In that case, Revit displays the Link IFC dialog so that you can navigate to the folder and select the file to link. Select the buildingmodel.ifc file and click Open. You can also link IFC files to the current project by using the Add tool here in the Manage Links dialog. Clicking Add opens the Link IFC dialog just as with the Link IFC tool. Click Cancel to close the dialog and then click OK to close the Manage Links dialog.